aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on today's episode, we are going to talk about something that may or may not actually look like they are really that much in common, being, of course, Tarantrum versus Riperior. But you more look into them and, of course, what they stand for, the more you can realize that, they, yeah, they do have a few things in common and they also have a few things that make them very, very interesting to look at, at least side by side. Because there is kind of a curse to rock typing, and that is actually that it's a lot of weaknesses. Even though I have a very, very high attack stat in general, they do kind of lack the necessary bulk to actually take it well. Which only makes these two more interesting because these two actually have a typing combination and, of course, abilities to void of the worst kind of damage output that can get onto them. So, with that said, let's, of course, go over their stats. Now, if we look at the stats, it's very clear that Riperior overall is the better one here. Very, very clear, actually. Uh, it peaks at the better things that matters, but Tarantrum does kind of share the same kind of peak, just not as vastly. And uh, so the attack, defense, and of course HP is Riperior's bread and butter really. Definitely visualize it as a defensive wall with 115, 140, 130. Tarantrum not too far behind outside of course the HP set would of course be an only of 82. Still great though, but just, just not the best. But 121 and 119 of course defenses is, as stated, very close to Riperior's original stats, just a little bit less. Then, of course, Tarantrum triumphs in the other stats here, where, of course, 69, 59, and 71 here in special attack to speed, where, of course, Rhyperior have a mixed special attack and attack and defense of 55 and 40, 40 speed. And uh, while it might not seem to be mattering all that much, those extra speed stats in Tarantrum is a very, very distinguishable thing what Tarantrum can do and consider what rock, mostly rock typings are struggling with which actually is their speed. Now with that said, of course, the rock typing combination is almost as good as the typing combination. Now here's the thing, Rhyperia has the ground rock typing. It's one of those typing that are famous for its, well, disadvantage against a lot. While it does get immunity to, of course, electric and of course resist, poison, fire, flying, normal and rock, it does have a plethora of weaknesses, actually six which is a lot for a quarter typing combination. It's weak to quartz, finding ground, ice, steel, and extremely weak to grass and water. So, kind of famous for, of course, it's racking in variety, or lack in variety, I'm gonna say rack in variety. Anyway, with that said, there is a thing going on here which makes, of course, Haradrim vastly superior, and that is its own, of course, combination of Dragon Rock. Here is, of course, where it really shows that Game Freak did have, of course, an intention in mind of making, of course, a rock type very, very viable. While it does share the same amount of, actually, weaknesses, it does get one less resistance. It says, of course, resist to fire, electric, fly, normal, and poison. But instead of, of course, being weak to grass and water, it does actually switch them out for actually being weak to dragon and fairy instead. And, of course, have no longer anything that is four times effective against it. But it does, as of course, the Rhyperior has the same weaknesses of finding ground, ice, and steel. But of course, with that said, it's not like Rhyperior is completely defenseless. Because in, of course, Generation 4, Rhydon got the Rhyperior Evolution clearly and solidified itself as the superior Rhyperior by, of course, not only maintaining this rock and ground typing, but also got a new ability called Solid Rock. Which of course reduce any super effective damage by 25%. And it might not sound like a big deal, but taking this into contrast, it's a high HP stat, a high defense stat, a pretty useless special defense stat, but it's now able to not only take hits, but probably take them well, and definitely on the physical side, where it's reduced even further, with of course its insane defense. So they pretty much solve a riddle that was until Generation 4 unsolvable. Ground and of course Rock Typer was one of the worst typings ever introduced in the game and they solved it. And while Tarantrum of course is solvable with of course its type of combination, it's very clear to see that Rhyperior got definitely a good ability to keep it relevant even to this generation, which of course is Generation 7. 
Though it should go noted that Tarantrum, due to its unique typing, measure definitely showcased that it actually got room for doing something else instead, due to actually Dragon of course solving a few issues with rock typings overall. And while it does lack of course a ground stab, it gets the dragon stab instead. And of course it got one of those really really nice abilities, while to while of course both are awesome. Strong Jaw of course boosting any type of bind damage move by of course 50%, basically making it a stab. Rockhead is where Tarantrum shines, because Tarantrum gets freaking head smash. Which is something our Hyperion might actually be needed, consider of course that it has reckless as an ability. I'm just having that out there. <laughs> but it's very clear that while of course Rhyperior does lack of course in HP stat consider of course against Rhyperior, it does actually get the chance to reduce to even avoid recall moves. And of course it should be noted due to strong jaw, Tarantrum and Rhyperior both get Fang's move with of course Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang and actually Tarantrum gets Crunch. But it should be noted that Tarantrum has ways of using those moves effectively, while of course Rhyperior simply doesn't. But they do have a lot of things in common here, they're both are superb stealth rockers for ones, and they both can set up with rock polish, clearly Tarantrum being faster has a more relevance to rock polish, but trust me they both can do it. Now they do a different bit when it comes to different setup, and uh, Rhyperior just gets Sword Stance, making it very, very scary. Double Dance Rhyperior is one of the scariest things you can ever face. But Tarantrum does get Dragon Dance, which is also a very, very <laughs> insane move. Consider, of course, with the Rock Head in mind. Other moves I actually share are moves such as Super Power, which is really, really interesting, mainly because it's a very, very high damaging move. Now, of course, with that said, I really have to talk about the sets that they do thrive in. And Rhyperior's defensive set is a very very good one in general due to Solid Rock and of course its insane stab. Actually Ground and Rock are the very very powerful stabs. So Stone Edge and of course Earthquake to get with Dragon Sail or Roar and of course Self Rocks makes this Pokemon really really ferocious to deal with. It's a very very hard Pokemon to KO due to of course its stats alone because it soaks hits and it's definitely one of the few Ground of course and Rock typing that actually soaks hits and probably will and for a long time. While it does lack recovery, that also goes for Tarantrum. What makes Tarantrum a bit more distinguished is of course its offensive move pool and offensive variety. While it do share a lot of attacks, it's very clear that Tarantrum, due to its excess speed here, actually 71, does win a few matchups a lot easier and mainly because it's not forced out as easily as Rhyperior could be against of course special attacking Pokemon. And of course with of course Strong Jaw and Rockhead. It has those variety going on, and of course we have to mention the Stealth Rock set. Tarantrum is not a focus Sash lead, it's probably one of the few Pokemon that you know, it's a lead Pokemon that isn't forced to use Sash to be able to set up Stealth Rocks, because it doesn't have any kind of strong weakness against it. While it just easily become KO against a Special Attack and Dragon and Fairy, it is very likely to outspeed them, because usually they are pretty darn slow. There are very few exceptions, and those few that are the exception are physical attackers, and Tarantrum does thrive with physical attack damage onto it. So while they both have very very clear, distinguished niches going on and do share a lot of things in common, I eventually here, after a very very long time of thinking, giving the edge to Tarantrum, and it's actually because of really one reason, Tarantrum has variety, it has things it can do and can keep on going that Rhyperius simply do not. Rhyperior still is an awesome Pokemon, it can definitely deal with a lot of things in the highest tiers even due to its variety in the defensive set, which are triumphing over and over over Tarantrum, but it's also very easy to see that Tarantrum has a lot of niches going on and a lot of sets going on and can thrive well due to it. Hell, even the Scarf Head Smash version is one of those sets that simply work Tarantrum is one of the few rock timers that I know about that can take a hit and retaliate back and can also outspeed and retaliate even further. And of course with setup in mind, Tarantrum just becomes this force of nature that are so hard to stop naturally while the Rapierior is actually able to be forced out rather easily, sadly. But with that said, I actually went with the mindset here that I was gonna give Rapierior overall the better because it has better overall stats, it has of course the, the rock solid, it's gonna have a solid rock ability, 
But the more I looked to it and the more I actually talked about it, the more I felt like Tarantrum is pretty freaking genius. Because the more I really look at it, the more I kind of realize that Tarantrum was the response that Rapirio was not. Rapirio solved an issue for Game Freak that has been prominent since Generation 1, but Tarantrum not only solved it even further on, it actually thrived upon it and actually distinguished a new type of idea. Due to the extra dragon typing, gets rid of a plethora of weaknesses, such of course as Solid Rock already does with, of course, Rhyperior, but not only solves them, but you can you do more to them with, of course, Strong Jaw and, of course, Rockhead to get, with, of course, a better speed here, making Tarantrum uh, just, a, like I said, a force of nature, a very, very flexible Pokemon, and overall has to be considered a better between them two. But I will say this. I love these both Pokemon so much. Rock typing is my, definitely my favorite typings of all time, and that's not going to change. But these two represent so much for rock typing because they solve something that may or not actually looked as unsolvable. So what they, these two stand for is the power of the rock typing, and my god, is it a ferocious one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you are on a different opinion, Make sure to tell me. And next episode is going to be very, very different because we are going to look at another matchup that are really, really ferocious.